The system of justice in England in the late 17th century is reflected in what happened here in Biddeford. The women, well, Temperance Lloyd initially was charged and taken to the lockup. She was subject to examination, part of it by mass judgment of the people in the parish church, but in particular by the justice of the peace. The church played a role, the rector did on behalf of the people check out if she was a witch, then the justice of the peace, the mayor of the town, ex officio, Justice of the Peace for Biddeford and the Deputy Mayor. So they were found guilty basically by him, but he couldn't charge, he couldn't try. Trials took place in Exeter at the Assizes. So on the 8th of July 1682, Temperance Lloyd went off and shortly afterwards, she was on her way to Exeter, shortly afterwards, uh, William Edwards claimed to have heard another woman, Susanna Edwards, confessed that she too was a witch. That led to a repeat performance really. Susanna Edwards arrested, taken to the lockup. They didn't bother with the parish church as far as we know this time, but there was a sort of public inquiry, not in the pub, in the parish church, but in the courtroom really, the, the council chamber of Biddyford. And when, once again, it's to us it's highly suspect. The large number of people were present. She was asked various questions and cross-examined. Cross-examination was done really by all and sundry, especially those from education. On this particular occasion we had this strange story of Anthony Jones who fell, had an epileptic seizure, claimed that his seizure was caused by Susanna Edwards, evidence of witchcraft. We have the problem of Mary Trembles, really totally innocent, but was seen as guilty by association. And when the charges were brought, because two people had allegedly been affected by witchcraft, they had to ch choose Susanna Edwards for one, and then, quite unfairly, they blamed Mary Trembles for the other. Nothing to do with her, it was a legal device so they could get her sent off to Exeter 11 days later on the 19th of July to stand trial. And the trial would have taken place at some time in the next few months when the judges arrived from London in their carriages to judge them.